Hello everyone. So we will continue the topic abstract class. In the previous videos, we created one abstract class. And after that, we created two subclasses from the abstract class. In the first subclass, I wrote the logic to fetch data from BP80 table. In the second subclass, I wrote the logic to fetch data from VBRK table. Now we will cover one of the important property of OOPS because we did the practical and it will be very easy for us to understand this property. And this property is called as polymorphism. Now we have combination of two words, poly plus morphism. Poly means many or multiple. Morphism means form. It means many forms or multiple forms. What we did in the practical of abstract class, we created one abstract class and we created one subclass and we wrote the logic to fetch data from VPAK. We created another subclass and we wrote the logic to fetch data from VPRK. We have the same definition. We have the same number of importing and exporting parameter, but we have multiple forms. We have different behavior. One time sales document, another time billing documents. So this is called as polymorphism property of OOPS. So we have one thing and we are creating multiple forms with the help of that. It is called as polymorphism. Now, if I will read the theory, it is very easy to understand. It is a property by which we are going for a different behavior in the subclass and we declared in the parent class something. Suppose in the parent class, or I will say in the abstract class, you declared some parameters, importing and exporting parameters, and you achieved the different behavior in the subclasses. Suppose example, you have a method. We declared one method in the parent class and in the subclasses, we did the different, different implementation. This is the polymorphism property of OOPS. If we take talk about a real time example, suppose we have a male, he has to exhibit different, different role. Suppose sometimes he has to go for a role of a son. Sometimes he has to go for the role of a father. So we have a person is male, but he is exhibiting different, different behavior. So it is called as polymorphism property of OOPS. So whatever we did with the help of abstract class, it is polymorphism property of OOPS. Now, this is whatever we achieved is called as method overriding. Whatever we achieved so far, it is called as method overriding. Now, what is method overriding? Method overriding always exists between a superclass and subclass. It always exists between a superclass and subclass. If you remember what we did in the abstract class, we have a method. We overrided this method in the first subclass also. We overrided the same method into second subclass also. So this is called as method overriding. Now, what is the prerequisite for method overriding? Your method is same. If you see 
the method display is in your abstract class also the same method is in the subclasses also and have you seen the signature is also same signature means whatever the importing exporting parameters are there those are also same so what is method overriding in method overriding is also always performed between two classes one will be your super class and another will be your sub class and the method which you are overriding it must have the same name and same signature signature means you are importing exporting parameters all those should be same so what we learned in this particular video that with the help of abstract class we are, are covering two important property of oops that is polymorphism and the second one is method overriding rest part we will continue in the next video thank you